Good morning, buenos dias, Wasabel Khair. Welcome back for another lesson from English al Espanol al Arabi, where we take words and phrases and translate them from English to Spanish and then to Arabic. And this morning, I'm going to look at a very curious phrase that I bumped into in colloquial Arabic. And I'm familiar with this phrase from Spanish, but it has a totally different meaning in Spanish, and it does not exist at all in English that I am aware of. And this phrase is to have a long tongue, or he or she has a long tongue. Now, in Spanish, where I live here in Puerto Rico, this phrase has a, a uni unique meaning to the island, I believe, and that's a, a gossipy person. Tener la lengua larga, bien larga, in Puerto Rico means that you're a gossiper, you're a gossipy person. There also exists a, a saying in the Spanish-speaking world which does not really exist here in Puerto Rico, and that is, para tener la lengua larga hay que tener la cola corta. And that's literally, to have a long tongue, one must have a short tail. Para tener la lengua larga, hay que tener la cola corta. And this apparently means that sooner or later all eyes will be discovered, although I'm not exactly sure how that works. Now in Arabic, in colloquial Arabic, when we say long tongue, or he has a long tongue, tawil lisan, tawil, long, lisan, tongue. But this is in the order of colloquial Arabic. So. This would mean that he is foul-mouthed, or he uses abusive language. Tawilisan, had the tawilisan, he he uses foul language. Had the tawilisan, this guy uses foul language. And apparently, a tawilt lisan is you can say she has a, a foul mouth often as well. However, in modern standard Arabic, we would say this completely different. We would switch it around because in, in colloquial, what you're really saying is he has a long tongue or something like that. He is long tongued, I believe would be more accurate. So in modern standard Arabic, we would say lisan tawil, lisan tawil, a long tongue. This is a long tongue because it does not have any articles on it. Now, if we put the articles and we want to say the long tongue, like the long tongue of the anteater, the anteater or the aardvark in English, which in Spanish is the oso hormiguero, the bear of the anthill, oso hormiguero. And in Arabic, anteater or aardvark is earth pig, earth pig, right? It's a chanzir el ard, chanzir el ard, earth pig, aardvark in Arabic. So the aardvark has a long tongue, the long tongue of the aardvark. If we want to say the long tongue, we have to put the definite article on both the noun and the adjective. El lisan el tawil, el lisan el tawil. And if we just take the definite article on the adjective, we would be putting it in the idafa, but that's another lesson. So thank you very much for viewing. I hope you learned uh, what long tongue means in Spanish and Arabic. Have a great day. God bless. Que Dios les bendiga. Aleluya.